Matthew chapter 21, verses 7 to 11. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Palm Sunday marks the beginning of Holy Week, which runs through until Easter in a week's time. The events of Holy Week represent the culmination of Jesus' earthly ministry and therefore arguably it is the most important week in the history of the world. I wonder what it was like to be among the crowds through those days or what it was like for Jesus' closest friends and disciples. The passage from Matthew's Gospel tells briefly the story of what has become known as the Triumphal Entry. They had been on their way to Jerusalem and as they journeyed Jesus had said some pretty disturbing things. Three times he had said, I'm going to die there in Jerusalem. But on Palm Sunday all of that seemed to have been forgotten. Jesus had sent two of the disciples ahead to find the donkey and bring it. And then they set off down the Mount of Olives, across the Kidron Valley and into the city. The Mount of Olives lies to the east of Jerusalem, so it's most likely they entered through the Eastern Gate, called the Golden Gate. Today that gate is sealed up. It's been like that since it was blocked by the Ottoman Emperor in the 16th century. And Jewish literature suggests that when the Messiah, the promised deliverer, arrives, he will enter Jerusalem by the Golden Gate. And that could only have added to the near hysteria of the crowds as they waved palm branches and yelled out, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And I wonder if the overwhelming feeling of Palm Sunday was of anticipation. Could it be? Could it really be? the long-promised Messiah, the son of David. Well, I'm recording this on the second weekend, after the second weekend of the Rugby Six Nations. And for the first time ever in this competition, Scotland have won their two opening games. And some of the fans are beginning to dream. Could they go all the way and win the championship, even the Grand Slam? Well, by the time you watch this, the Six Nations competition will be over for the year and we'll know whether that anticipation has been deflated or fulfilled. And what of the anticipation of the Palm Sunday crowds? Through the next week, we will recall what happened to the one who entered Jerusalem in such a flurry of excitement and what it all meant, both back then and for us now.